In this video, we're going to go through the different resources and tools that are available on the neonscience.org website to allow you to better understand and work with NEON data. This is the homepage of the NEON website, and there are a variety of resources on this page that you may be interested in. The NEON updates or blog articles provide information on what's going on at the observatory now, how you can access data through partners, different research projects that use data, and spotlights of researchers that are using data. If you continue to scroll down at the bottom, there is an ability to subscribe to our quarterly newsletter so that you can get more information about what's happening with NEON delivered to your inbox and the ability to follow us on social media accounts that we're there to get more real-time live updates on what's happening. We also have upcoming events highlighted so you know what are different areas that you can get involved in NEON in person or in virtual environments uh, to, to gain training or advance science or get involved in other conversations in that area. So other tools that are available on the website for you, NEON is a nationwide network, so you may be interested in where we have field sites. So the field site map allows you to look at the, the geographic spread of the uh, sites and also to gain more information about them. So this is the field sites that we have including Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico, but let's say you're interested in aquatic field sites and particularly lakes. Using the filter options you can filter down to different types of field sites so you know ones that are uh, matching your research or educational interests. So you can always reset the filters uh, on the bar and if you're interested in information about one particular field site, you can go ahead and click on that icon and click on the individual field site. Uh, you'll also notice that every field site has a name and a four-letter code associated with it. Um, they don't always match like they do with Moab. And so down here is a download field site CSV, which provides all the information on field sites, um, including this key between the field site name and the four letter code, which is very useful when you're working with the data. So going to an individual field site page, you'll find information about the field sites, as well as an interactive map so you can learn more about those sites. If you turn on the satellite layer, you can see more about the geographic area and the land cover that's happening at those field sites. There's also more information about where we're collecting data at these sites. If you click on individual plots, it will tell you more about what the plot ID is, where it's located, and what we are collecting data on in those individual plots. Scrolling down, you'll find more information about the field sites. You'll also get information about whether the site host is allowing additional research at these sites. If you're looking to uh, collect data concurrently with NEON. Um, and there's also information to contact us if you're interested in visiting these field sites. So in addition to where data are being collected, you may be interested in what types of data are collected. We collect data in three different systems using our airborne observation platform, our instrumented systems, and our observational system. Uh, and this section under data collection provides kind of summary information about the types of data we collect under these categories and how we're collecting that data. This is a great place to start when you're not sure exactly what data products you're interested in, you're wondering how NEON's collecting data. This provides more of a summary. Then you can jump to the Explore Data page and the Data Product Details pages to learn more about individual data products of interest. So now that we've talked about data, we also provide more information to help you get started using NEON data. So we have a Get Started page, um, as well as other information about the data products themselves. Um, and then in the Resources section, we offer other information that will help you. So under Code Resources, these are packages, primarily R and Python, that are built to allow you to work with NEON data, um, depending on the data products of interest. Under data skills, this is where we pull together all of our training materials. So data product, data tutorials are available to, for you to learn any time of day. Uh, online learning to work with different data products. Teaching modules are geared more towards educators to work with the data in their classrooms. Um, our workshops allow in-person or virtual interaction between instructors and students to learn more about the data. Um, and then we also offer science videos 
and have collected different uh, citizen science and K-12 activities to look at NEON-like data uh, if you're interest working with those audiences. We also have more information for researchers on how you can collaborate with NEON um, and how you can use the NEON data and infrastructure in your research. So with 81 field sites across the country collecting data, NEON has a, a variety of different types of infrastructure out in the field, and that infrastructure is available for researchers to use as part of their research. This is available through our Assignable Assets or Research Support Program. Uh, then using NEON infrastructure for research um, page details how this works and the different types of infrastructure that we have that you can use. Um, and more information about how you can apply to this program and get additional resources for it. This can be used to collect data at NEON sites or with the mobile deployment platform or the airborne observation platform to collect NEON-like data at sites that are of interest to you. So there are a variety of other resources and tools available from the NEON Science website. I encourage you to check out the different uh, resources that are there, but these are some of the key features that you may want to look at uh, to understand more about NEON and the data and tools that are available from NEON.